9.5 meters below space and time this crash did it. So how much interest? Well, I'm going to take this vector equation. Hello, welcome back to Physics Teacher. This is our second episode in our new series where we are using Algodoo, a physics simulation software, to create our own simulations to analyze some physics concepts. So today's lesson will be on harmonic motion. So we have a pendulum that goes back and forth, and I have it showing its velocity. And we have a spring over here. I'll show you what we can do with that in a second. But something new I'm going to teach you today is I can click on the pendulum, double click and click show plot. And if I change the Y axis from speed to position, we can look at both its X and Y position and click run. Then it's going to plot the position of the pendulum in both X and Y over time. And the great thing is you can even save that as a CSV file and import it into Excel, for example, and analyze it further. All right, now we can do the same thing with this one. I can click show plot. And I'm going to analyze not its speed, its position, its vertical position. And you can do a couple things with this. You can create a lab for Hooke's law and figure out what the spring constant is. Now you can change the spring constant here. Currently I have it set to 28 newtons per meter and I have damping set up. All right, so this would be damped harmonic motion. Now all I have to do is sort of stretch that a little bit, hit play, and you see that damped harmonic motion. Now eventually it's going to come to equilibrium because I have it at a damped harmonic motion. So what I can do is I can change the mass of my object. Hit play and it reaches a new equilibrium. Change the mass again. Hit play and we reach a new equilibrium. So you can keep doing this and you can get new equilibrium positions for different masses, which you can then extract into Excel and figure out what the spring constant is. Then of course you can test the error in uh, your experiment by checking it with the actual spring constant. Another thing you can do is completely remove damping and analyze simple harmonic motion with no damping. So let me give this a little bit of a pull. and we get simple harmonic motion. All right, so let's learn how we set this up straight from the beginning. So first to set up the pendulum, we're just gonna create a little ceiling here. Size doesn't really matter, and we are going to pin it in place so it doesn't fall under gravity. Then I'm gonna create a ball, and I'm going to attach a rope to it. Like so. So now if I hit run, the rope's attached to the ball. So then I can do a couple things with it. I can go to the material. Um, I can change the mass of the ball, right? Or I can also give it an initial horizontal velocity. So let's visualize those velocities. And I'll give it an initial horizontal velocity. And there we go. Very quick and easy lab to set up. Um, if you want to, you can reset it. Um, attach different ropes. You can make different pendulums with different lengths for the ropes and with different masses for your pendulum. And you can create plots for all of them and analyze them all at once. All right, it'll be a great way to actually look at the different properties of pendulums. Okay, so the spring lab. 
Spring Lab's quite easy to set up as well. We're just going to start off with some mass, which you can change how massive you want it to be, either in volume or in weight. And then we're just going to attach a spring to it. Just like that. So if you hit play, that's it. It's already set up. And then you can do what I showed you before. Right? You can give it a little pull if you want to. You can add plots. You can change the spring constant. You can remove or increase damping. However you want to do to analyze either Hooke's Law or simple harmonic motion or damped harmonic motion. Lastly, if you want to have some fun, you can um, expand on this a little and create a spring launcher. So this combines what we learned in today's lesson on springs and what we learned in yesterday's lesson on projectile motion. And there's so much analysis you can do with this. All right, so I hope you enjoyed today's lesson, and I'll see you next time.